Hi, I'm Nadia. And I'm Nicole, and we are the Well Twins. Today we're going to compare Acorns to Robinhood. We're going to highlight the similarities and the differences between these two brokers so that you can decide which is the best for your investing style and your goals. If that sounds good to you, hit that like button so we can get started. Now, when it comes to investing, it's only natural to want to compare Acorns to Robinhood. Since they are geared towards beginner investors and have apps in an online platform that are considered user friendly. Both brokers have mobile apps that make trading as convenient as possible with full trading functionality that you can access from your phone. Each broker offers commission free trades, which is a good option if you're concerned about fees taking away your money from your investing. These commission free trades have prompted traditional brokers like Charles Schwab and Fidelity to remove trading fees from many of their products that they offer. Outside of these similarities, both Acorns and Robinhood offer unique features that they use to stand out from their competition and entice new customers. Now, Acorn focuses on sign-up bonuses and referral pay to get you to open a new account. For example, if you set up a direct deposit with your employer to your Acorns account, you will be eligible for a cash reward. When it comes to friend referrals, Acorns will give you and your friend $5 for opening an account. That's free money, guys. Yeah. Additionally, for a limited time, you can refer five friends and you'll be eligible to receive $1,000 worth of investments into your Acorns Invest account. Now, it seems that instead of having a static referral bonus, Acorn changes its referral bonus on almost a weekly basis. So by the time you see this video, maybe they changed it, yeah. okay? It's best to just to check their facts page and you'll find out more information, okay? Acorns also gives you a $10 investment sign-up bonus after you make your first $5 investment. Robinhood, on the other hand, offers different incentives for account openings and referrals. When you open a Robinhood account, you can be rewarded with one share of free stock that is valued between $3 and $225. However, 98% of the time, the stock that you will receive will be valued between $2 and $10. Yeah, okay? they're not giving away $225 exactly. worth of stock, right? In order to receive the stock, you will have to link your bank account to your Robinhood account. When you refer a friend to Robinhood, you can receive five free shares of a stock and your friend will receive one share. Although this is a cool feature, this offer is not available for everyone. And there are eligibility requirements before this offer appears in your Robinhood account. When it comes to funding your account, there are different options that exist between Acorns and Robinhood. With Acorns, you can link a bank account, debit card, or a credit card to your account so that you can use their Roundup and Spare Change feature. The Roundup feature takes your spare change from a purchase and rounds it to the nearest dollar. There is no minimum deposit, but to start investing, you need your spare change to add up to at least $5 before it's automatically invested. Additionally, you can choose any amount you want to invest from a linked personal checking or savings account. Now with Robinhood, all you can do is link a personal bank account and begin moving money over into your Robinhood broker's account. Now, when you look at account types, Robinhood and Acorns both have differences, okay? Acorns has three investing accounts that you can choose from. They have Acorns Invest, Acorns Later, and Acorns Early. Acorns Invest is a taxable brokerage account that Acorns offers, which is similar to Robinhood's Instant account. Mm -hmm. Acorns Later is a retirement account that Acorns provides. With Acorns Later, you can invest in an IRA or a Roth IRA account. In Acorns Early, it's a custodial account that Acorns offers. Acorns Early allows you to start investing for your children. This is where you can start putting money away and grow generational wealth. Now with Robinhood, Robinhood offers you two taxable brokerage accounts, the Robinhood Instant Account and the Robinhood Gold Account. Mm -hmm. When you first open your Robinhood account, you are given a Robinhood Instant Account, okay? Once you have an Instant Account, you can then apply for your Robinhood Gold Account. A Robinhood Gold Account allows you to trade on margin, which is an advanced trading strategy, okay? Robinhood does not offer any retirement accounts, which means that you cannot open up a Roth IRA or an IRA with Robinhood. Additionally, Robinhood does not offer custodial accounts. This means you cannot open an account for a minor on the Robinhood app or the Robinhood website. Now, when it comes to the types of investments you're able to buy and how you buy them, they both differ on the platform you're using when it comes to Acorns and Robinhood. Through the Robinhood app, you are able to choose and buy individual stocks, options, cryptocurrencies, and ETFs. On the Acorns app and platform, you are not able to pick your individual investments. 
since it's a limited trading authority account. You cannot choose what to invest in. Acorn chooses your investments for you. What you can do is choose from five Acorns investment portfolios that are based on different risk levels. Additionally, you can invest in fractional shares through Robinhood and Acorns. Instead of paying for a full share, you can pay for a fraction of the price and own a fraction of a share. Mm -hmm. Both platforms allow you to purchase fractional shares for $5 or less. Fractional shares are a great option for new investors and young investors who don't want to start investing with too much money. They allow you to start investing right away and understand how the stock market works firsthand without risking too much money. Acorns and Robinhood are not the only brokers to offer this investment option though, okay? Charles Schwab also offers fractional shares under his Stock Slice program. To find out how you can buy fractions of a share with as little as $5 with them, check out the video we have linked down in the description below. Now, we want you to be aware that you're not able to buy any mutual funds, fixed income securities, or bonds on either Acorns or Robin. That's a big limitation, guys. Now, when it comes to fees, there is no account minimum when it comes to accounts at both Acorns or Robinhood. However, Acorns does charge a subscription fee. Acorn charges a monthly subscription fee of either $3 or $5, depending on a plan that you choose. Mm -hmm. You have a choice between the personal account, which is the $3 a month, or the family account that's $5 a month, which includes the early account, to start investing for your kids. Robinhood doesn't charge any monthly fees. Outside of these comparisons, some other things you may wanna consider when deciding between Acorns and Robinhood are these. Acorn acquired a company called Harvest that hopes to help everyday Americans improve their net worth. For a small fee, you can get access to tools that will help you manage your debt, negotiate banking fees to get them reimbursed, or uncover monthly subscription fees that you are not fully aware that you're paying for. When you have a Robinhood brokerage account, you can sign up for a cash management account. With the cash management account, the cash that you have in your brokerage account is moved overnight to a participating bank. Additionally, you receive a debit card from Sutton Bank and can use this card as you would any other debit card. Just be aware that the money on the debit card is based on what you have as cash in your brokerage account not for the amount of your investments. Yeah, and remember that Robinhood is not a bank. They go through Sutton Bank, okay? Also, if you're interested in buying cryptocurrency, Robinhood allows you to buy and hold it in both their instant and gold accounts. Mm -hmm. Acorn does not have this option. Just be aware though, if you buy crypto on Robinhood, you will have to keep it there because Robinhood doesn't provide the functionality needed to transfer it over to a private wallet or send it to another address. Now, these are crypto terms. If you're not familiar with it, just stick with the channel. We're going to start talking more about crypto, okay? Yep. Now, when it comes down to Acorns versus Robinhood, they both have convenient features that allow you to manage and see your own investments from your phone and easily start creating an investment portfolio. However, convenience and features isn't the only thing you should have in mind when it comes to investing. You need to understand what investments are best to help you grow your money and build your wealth. If you would like to know how we build wealth, we would like to invite you to join our free masterclass where we teach you how to use our swim process to learn how to make money in the stock market without feeling like you're gambling your money. Just click the link below in the description of this video. Remember to show these twins some love and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. See you in the next video.